Hello dear learners I am your teacher Himanshi Sharma and today we'll be starting a new lesson from your book Marigold So let's get started Before coming to the lesson I would like to ask all of you this question How many of you like to do mischief mischief means whenever you are being naughty you are doing something to trouble someone that makes you happy right so this is mischief mm, i know most of you are you must be saying that yes i like to do mischief how many of you have been caught while being mischievous mm, you must have been caught by your mom dad your sister brother or any elder while being mischievous and how did you feel then when they caught you they must have scolded you and who likes to be scolded right so how do you feel mm, probably very sad did you blame your mischief on anyone else you know has there ever been a situation when you have blamed the mischief done by you on someone else but how do you feel when you don't get caught when you are being mischievous and nobody is seeing you you probably are laughing like little jerry hmm so let's start with a new poem from unit 6 mr nobody i know a funny little man as quiet as a mouse who does the mischief that is done in everybody's house there's no one ever sees his face and yet we all agree that every plate we break was cracked by mr nobody so this was the poem mr nobody i know a funny little man the poet is saying that they know a funny little man and how is the fun little man as quiet as a mouse he is very quiet not not making any kind of noise who does the mischief that is done in everybody's house now what this funny little man is doing the funny little man is being mischievous he is doing all the mischiefs that is done in everybody's house there's no one ever sees his face nobody has ever seen the face of mr nobody nobody knows how mr nobody looks like and yet we all agree that every plate we break was cracked by mr nobody so what mr nobody is doing that mr nobody is doing mischievous activities he is breaking the plates cracking the plates and nobody has ever seen his face moving forward the new words from the chapter quiet means without any noise when there is absence of any kind of sound we are we such uh, we call such situation a quiet situation or a person who is sitting quietly it means that the person is not making any kind of noise mischief that is trouble caused by someone everybody means every person agree that is having the same opinion the agreeing with someone we are with someone means that we are having the same opinion as that person nobody nobody means no one plate a dish on which food is served plate is a dish on which food is served like you can see in this picture the ice cream is being served in a plate then cracked something which is broken partially like this funny something causing laughter here you can see a group of four children and they all are laughing because they find something very funny some whenever we talk about funny things it causes laughter among us moving forward reading is fun who is mr nobody 
Mr. Nobody is a funny little man. Has anyone ever seen him? No, nobody has ever seen him. Is there a Mr. Nobody in your house? Yes, there is a Mr. Nobody in my house and he eats my food sometimes. Moving forward. Let's talk. Have you ever done something naughty? So, yes, I did something naughty few days ago. Students, here you can also state your own experiences. You can write the answer in your own words. What did you do? I accidentally broke a flower vase. And what did you say? I apologized to my mother and promised to be careful next time. Moving forward. Let's share. Sometimes you want to look and find things for yourself. Tick those that you did and tell your friends. Now look at the situations carefully and tick on the things which you have done. I tried to see why the clock ticked. So you can tick this one if you find it right. I went out of the house at night to see the stars. I climbed a tree to look into a nest. I climbed on a stole to find the biscuits. Moving ahead. Say aloud and circle the rhyming words. Now you have to read the sentence. Say it aloud and circle the rhyming words. A mouse ran into the house. So the first set of rhyming words in the first sentence is mouse and house. Second sentence, I can see the little bee. The rhyming words are see and bee. Third one, that was a fat cat. The rhyming words are fat cat. Sentence number four, give me a handkerchief. Don't do any mischief. The rhyming words are handkerchief and mischief. Handkerchief is also called as hanky. Okay, students. Now, let's move ahead. Now, in this, this is a drawing activity that make groups of five children each. Each group takes a big chart paper and then each group draws a Mr. Nobody. So, the, in, in a group activity, you have to do this. But in this pandemic situation, since you all are not able to come to school and work with your friends, I will suggest this activity to be done with your parents and your siblings. The first child draws Mr. Nobody's head. So here you can draw Mr. Nobody's he head. Then you can ask your father to draw Mr. Nobody's hands. Ask your mother to draw Mr. Nobody's arms. Ask your sister or brother to draw the legs. Right. And in this way you will be able to draw a picture of Mr. Nobody. Let's write. Fill in the blanks with A, E, I, O, U. Do you know students, what are these five words called? These five words are called vowels. And the rest of the words from A to Z are called consonants. So, let's see the first word. H, E, dash, D. So, we will write here head. And how a head looks like? Like this. Dash R M S arms. I have written A. How the arms look like? Like this. L dash G S. I'll write here E. And how the legs look like? Like this. D R dash S S. I'll write here E. And how a dress looks like? Like this. H dash dash R. H A I R. Hair. And how the hair look like? The hair looks like this on a boy's head. Moving forward. Add no, some and every to the word body to make new words. So, I'll add here somebody, everybody, nobody. Moving forward, 
Seema wrote her father's name like this. Mr. Dinesh Dikshit. Ram wrote his mother's name like this. Mrs. Sneha Ramdas. Now write your father's name as Seema did. In this exercise students you will be writing your father's name with adding Mr. before his name. Like I am writing name of my father Mr. A.P. Sharma. And then you have to write your mother's name as Ram did. So I will be writing here my mother's name Mrs. Y. Sharma. Similarly, you will write mis use Mr. and Mrs. to write many other names which you know. So I will write the name of our principal sir Mr. Anil Yadav and our headmaster sir Mr. J.K. Barik. I will also write the name of a teacher from our school. Mrs. Sangeeta Basu. You can write the name of any people you know like this. Moving forward. The Zigzag Boy. It's a very small beautiful poem. I'll be reciting this. I know a little zigzag boy who goes this way and that. He never knows just where he puts his coat or shoes or hat. If you are not a zigzag child, you will have no cause to say that you forgot for you will know where things are put away. Enjoy and read this zigzag boy, this beautiful poem. So that's all dear learners. Thank you. Happy learning and take care. Bye bye.